What's going on, YouTube? It's me, your favorite disembodied voice inside of your head. I would like to extend my deepest thanks and gratitude to corporate America for continuing to produce stupid crap that no one wants. Feels like only yesterday I made a video on Walmart's little virtual reality project. Yeah, shop at Walmart in VR. Don't forget to buy the Crackheads at Midnight DLC for a truly immersive experience. You know what the funny thing is? Our ancestors drew comics, wrote books, and filmed movies detailing what they thought the future would look like. They imagined unique architecture and machines that would do all but our most mundane and minuscule jobs for us. But you know, now that it's actually the future, the here and now, and we're starting to build these futuristic buildings and all these machines, I feel like we as a society have come together as a collective to realize what the hell were those old heads thinking? I mean, seriously, Gramps. What I've come across here on this fine evening truly represents the decadence and laziness of the modern American. Called a laundry jet, I've got their website pulled up right here. The Powered Laundry Chute, revolutionizing the way laundry is done, one home at a time. Alright, let me cut you off right there. Why does laundry have to be revolutionized? Why? Why? Wow. I think the system we've got now works pretty damn good. You drop your dirty clothes in a basket, and then you take it to your washing machine. Boom, done. No need to spend... How much do these things cost? $2,400? And that's on the lower end. Jesus, I haven't even gotten into what the damn thing does. What is the laundry jet? The laundry jet is the first vacuum-powered laundry chute that transports laundry from any room with ports installed to the laundry room. Unlike a traditional laundry chute, the laundry jet can be used regardless of if a home is multi-level or single story because it is not reliant solely on gravity. Oh yeah, I know, right? Those peasants, they throw their dirty clothes down a chute. They use gravity like a whole bunch of peasants. Not us, though. We're rich. We get to use vacuum tubes to move all our clothes around just like the patricians of Rome. If this is what rich people spend their money on, I think I'll stick to blowing my money on malt liquor. Thank you very much. It can be installed seamlessly into any custom laundry room design and existing laundry rooms. This is a must-have laundry item for any family or individual looking for a convenient and safe way to transport clothes to the laundry room from any room in the house. I don't know what's so inconvenient about just dropping my clothes in a basket and walking it over to the washing machine, or is that not streamlined enough for you? And like, safe? A safe way to get your laundry from one place to the other? Like, what's so unsafe about walking your clothes over to the laundry room? What, do you think a gang's gonna like ambush you or something? Oh, I swear, these people, man. They got a video right here. Let's give it a watch. Alright, we got a woman walking up to the laundry tube thing. Alright, right away, you lost me. Right here, you're losing time. You have to wave your hand in front of this motion sensor thing for it to open up. That takes a good, like, what, five seconds? In that time, you could have just put it in a basket or something like that. But again, that's just not refined enough for these people. It's barbaric. Only the tribes beyond the Rhine or the Danube would do something like that after all. Okay, so now she's putting her, I don't know what those are, I think they're rags or something. She's putting them in one at a time. Again, that's wasting time. You could have just dropped all of them into a basket at once and that would have been the end of that. So now she's walking over to her laundry room. It's like, if you were gonna go there anyways, why bother with the tube? Why not just carry what you need to get washed over to the laundry room? For God's sake, lady, you're driving me up a wall! Benefits of a laundry jet. Works in multiple level homes, works in single level homes, transports clothes up to 200 feet. Ooh, big deal. I could put a basket of dirty clothes into my car and I could drive it for however much distance that I want. I could take it over to the Mexican border, go down all the way to the southern tip of Chile if I really wanted to. That is, if the various Latin American drugs cartels don't get to me first. To use the laundry jet system, simply open the nearest port to activate the system. Using the open port, 
feed dirty laundry, bed sheets, and even damp towels. Ooh, even damp towels, guys, into the open port to be transported into the laundry room. The system is activated when the port is opened and deactivated when the port is closed, thus conserving power and energy. Hey, you want to conserve power and energy? Just use a normal damn laundry chute. It, like, imagine how much power this thing's gonna be sucking up just for it to suck up clothes and take it to a different room. The noise produced by the system at the ports is barely louder than a whisper, so as to not disrupt the everyday activities in the living areas of the home. You know what doesn't make noise? A normal laundry chute. Just saying. Ports can be installed at various heights to make it more user-friendly for the needs of the home. Huh, well, now I'm sold. I'm gonna need one of these installed at, oh, roughly crotch height. It's, um... For science. They got a bunch of products here, uh, something I'm noticing is they keep mentioning how good they look for some reason. The Plus installs inside your very own custom cabinetry to maintain the overall aesthetic in your laundry room while adding the maximum benefit the laundry jet technology. Its unique style, easy view, per specs, rectangular viewpoint, and stunning gloss acrylic finish add a unique and futuristic feel to any laundry room. Yeah, I really care about how the laundry room looks. Get real. Most people's washing machines are in a dingy ass basement with cracked walls and meth residue on the floor. No one cares about the aesthetic of a laundry room. And keep in mind, you gotta install this thing. Depending on how complex you want your little network of vacuum tubes to be, you could be ripping out entire walls and floors just to get these things installed. Yeah, sounds real convenient to me. I think I'll stick to laundry baskets and laundry chutes. Oh yeah, call me a peasant. Uncultured swan. But you know, I feel like my money could go towards better things. Honestly, I kind of feel bad for the people who developed this product. Probably spent years designing the thing, building it. They poured their heart and souls into it. Here I am, trashing on it. But hey, can you blame me? This is dumb. Why spend thousands of dollars get a few tubes put into your walls when you can just walk them over to the laundry room yourselves? They told me we'd have flying cars, they told me we'd have robots, but all we got is friggin' laundry tubes. Oh, I'm going crazy, all right. They're coming to take me away. But that's all I've got for this shtick. You guys do old Jack your favor, and uh, keep it groovy. Thank you. Thank you very much.